This is a man who is conscientious about his job. It's a job David Vasquez has done for 21 years. His lawyer says he would have never compromised safety on that red line train that took off and traveled four stops without him last week. Did he wrap a cord around some of the controls there no. on that train? We have no indication that he didn't wrap that he wrapped cords around the control. I've spoken to Mr. Vasquez. He categorically denies that he would do anything like that. But the T's primary focus has been the operator, saying it appears he rigged a cord around the throttle. And forgot to set emergency brakes before leaving the train to manually flip a switch to bypass signal problems. It could very well be that Mr. Vasquez actually deployed those brakes, and it could very well be that they failed. Vasquez did not attend his disciplinary hearing today. His lawyer says he was following doctor's orders to limit stress. He's having a very, very difficult time. Uh, with the accusations as well as with the incident itself. Vasquez has been talking with investigators, and his lawyer says their probe should focus not only on the operator, but also on aging equipment. You're talking about a system and, a, and tracks that have problems on them and outages and tracks that would require, in order for this train to continue at the particular point it was at, to actually disable safety systems. And the T investigation does continue tonight. No word on what may have been decided at that disciplinary hearing earlier today. We're live in Braintree tonight. John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.